when they are done turning you upside down, you have the audacity to not want to eat the partially cooked beans he has. And you open your mouth and say you want to eat rice. Hey, babe, how dare you? Hello, my loves. Welcome back to Feminine Diaries. My name is Chi. Our topic will be on gold digging, gold diggers, gold digger shaming. Who is a gold digger? According to the dictionary, as I'm going to put up on the screen. From my experience and from what it is around me, a gold digger or a lady is called a gold digger if she has a man's financial status at the top of her list. Who engages in a romantic relationship for money, not for love? People have their preferences also when it comes to choosing a mate. This runs wide across physical look, financial capability, personality, the character, the family prestige and just um, influence. Connection, sexual chemistry, respect, belief, value, intellect, and a whole lot of other things. Everybody wants what they want to know. Yeah, and what is a priority to them? The smart option, of course, would be for you to go with who you are more compatible with. But the trend is not that. The trend is to bash people for their choices. I am referring to bashing women who choose to prioritize wealth over love or finance over love. Even if we do not think about it that way, we are attracted to people because of what we can get from them. For instance, a man who is attracted to a prayerful lady believes that he's going to get extra security for himself, his family, like his spiritual realm is covered. If she's attracted to a man that is prayerful, she knows what she's getting. If you're attracted to that person, her body, you know what you're getting from there. If the lady is attracted to a man because of his physical looks, she knows what she's getting from him. We are not wired the way men are. Women produce, women nurture. We tend to look out for the survival of our offsprings. We tend to look out for the man who will be the best provider, the best protector. When you watch even animals of the wild, the females look for the most promising male who is going to ensure that she doesn't starve, her children doesn't starve, she will be protected from harm. Just a man who will provide and protect for her and her offsprings. That is what women want. I want to be enjoying. In short, I want to be weak. I want to just sit down like a princess. Show me the money. Show me the good life. Is it there? I'm going there. That's my life. So, as if seeing my period every month is not hard enough. And if you're a lucky guy, you might even get a baby out of me. Is that one not hard? But men want to feed their ego. Men want respect. He wants honor. He wants his ego to just be, to feel like he's the man of men. I was watching Nat Joe Wild not too long ago and it was about, about lions and how things are run in the pride. So, the male, they always have like an alpha male, which all the females try to gain his attention. They try to have their offsprings by him because if he is overthrown, that new alpha tries to kill the corpse of the previous alpha just to make sure that his own legacy lives on. This does not apply all over the board. Of course, there are exceptions. And again, everything I am saying is my own opinion. Men want their legacy to continue. They want to feel like a man. They want to be respected. They want to be honored. Women are not interested in that. So it is natural 
do not feel bad do not feel ashamed to want what you want if a man steps into a crowded room he scans around and cites the most attractive young lady according to his peg and he approaches her and gets her if a man was the most attractive or sought after woman he is being praised cheered on by other men and even women they will of course say things like ah you're smart your eyes are good though you're a lucky man they'll cheer him on like you, you achieved something but god forbid a lady walks into a room scans the room and decides to go for the most successful man amongst them gold digger what happens to other guys who are not so wealthy i don't know man does she have money like that she wants him for his money gold digging shaming is purely done by men to manipulate women and keep them under or within their reach let me put it that way if not why will the marriage criteria of a woman be her ability to suffer and be punished for loving you why is that yeah, I was talking to a guy and he told me that he wanted a strong woman. Someone that will, if life should get hard or life should get tough, tough, they will make lemons, I mean lemonade out of lemons. And I'm like, why? My dear beautiful ladies, do not compromise. Do not lower your standards because of you are scared of being called a gold digger. It is a compliment. That means you like good things. Be strong for anybody. I'm not that strong woman that you're looking for. Is it to struggle for love? Or is it to struggle for the hard life? It's not my portion. No, it's no, you have to no, it's not me. I didn't come to this life to be doing any of that. I'm somebody's child. What's that? Men who are confident in themselves will hardly ever, ever partake in calling a woman a gold digger. The man who has the means and loves his woman will give her the word if he can. It is when you cannot and you are reaching for someone who is not compatible with you. What she wants is not what you You don't have what she wants and she has what you want. So you want to force her to give you what you want and you won't give her what she wants. Calling her a girl, God is watching you. I can understand you having an opinion, but why are you so pained? Why all these emotions? Why are you so angry? Why? Why does it does it affect you? Does it affect your life? Is it your girl? Is it your woman? Is it your money? Is it your why is it your money? Is it your father's money? Is it your brother's money? Is it your relations money? You've not asked yourself why you are so pent up with anger because of this. How much money does he have? Jay broke. <laughs> <laughs> According to Wikipedia, a gold digger is someone who engages in romantic relationships for money other than love. That is the crime of a gold digger. That is all. This young lady has decided because of her experiences or just because of her belief that money comes at the top of her list over love that is the crime that is making your heart boil this is very very common in our university days okay look at this scenario you're going for a d appointment mm? you use your student money to go and buy bits <laughs> and clean up nicely eh that makeup that you, the foundation you keep for these special occasions that is expensive, you use that, you make your hair, you wear your nice clothes, eh? you use your transport and you go there. And broke people are always the most agile. 
the broker the man, the more agile he is. And when they are done turning you upside down, you now have the audacity. You have the audacity to not want to eat the partially cooked beans he has. And you open your mouth and say you want Kilimanjaro rice. Hey, babe, how dare you? And maybe this Nofo even tore, tore your expensive clothes when he was trying to show you how agile he is. That food cannot buy that top. Then you are now gold digger. And then when you see the funny people calling girls gold digger, eh? this person doesn't even have clay for you to dig. Eh? You cannot even dig out charcoal from this person. And then you will feel so bad. And feel so guilty. God forbid someone calls me a gold digger and then you lower your standard and just accept no sense. For those of you who are not in Nigeria, Linda Ikeji is one of our most popular bloggers. She had this post up of a man who was praising his wife because she married him 32 years ago. I think it's 32 years if I'm not mistaken, when he had nothing to do when he had nothing doing so he was praising her he was like they were broke before their wedding they were broke during their wedding they had to use the reception money to settle the debts and all those things he was now hailing her then see the stupid comments some people were making yeah like where will you see a woman that is this good now all the girls are this everybody is now a gold digger is that the standard used to measure how good a lady is when it comes to getting married why ladies but i do not even understand though. why would you even do that to yourself in your own house eh in your house when you're at home with your siblings eh if they ask you to be the one to cook and wash clothes and clean the house and run all the errands hey hey for what that is your question right for what but to prove that you love a man you will accept to do all these things and basically turn yourself into a slave everywhere is hurting you hate what is going on and you are doing it then when you look at people who are paid to call women gold diggers even amongst them their pairs even among their pairs when you watch these people suck up to their fellow men when they believe that they are going to get a business opportunity or the guy is going to give them money or they can just benefit financially from this guy you will see even amongst their eight men, young men if you see the respect they give to the guy who hold pepper most people can basically wash they can wash his boxers if he asks them to but god forbid let it be a girl who has financial interest in someone Nobody can dig for gold like men. Half of our young men are chatting with over eight old women, sending them money. Then you will see young girls and be angry at them for wanting guys that have money and not wanting you. And when something is being done over and over and over and over again and people are now used to it, it will become normal in society. So some women. Although maybe most women do this out of just seeing you as a competition, they feel like you're, you're getting life easy. How dare you have a man that will do this for you when she cannot? How dare you have your life so much easier? How dare you want the best for yourself? How dare you dream that? How dare, that, how dare you think that you deserve this? Like who born you? Why do you? Who born you? How dare you think you deserve this? Like who are you to want such good things? Who are you? Out of hatred they can do this. but. It is also like a norm in the society to shame women who want a man who is doing well, who does not succumb to proving her value as a wife material by turning herself into a slave. There was even a time they were measuring wife material by someone who can cook with small money so that you will, you will cut your boobs and use it as meat. Yeah. Maybe your hair can change into spices, then you can then manage the rest of the money. Why? 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 And do not care about the gold digger shivers. 
Bye, my lovelies. Thank you so much for stopping by.